peptization preparation of colloid from freshly prepared precipitate is called peptization process chapter surface chemistry not related to this biomolecules this is peptide bond so definitely they will use one option formation of peptide bond is called peptization that is not peptization peptization means there we learned uh, preparation of a colloid solution from freshly prepared precipitate one important example what is that uh? ferric hydroxide salt that is only we learn no ferric hydroxide salt uh, preparation huh. now denaturation what is this denaturation denaturation means uh, if these proteins are heated or excess cooling or any acid added any base added any salt added any impurity added what happens here this protein loses its activity proteins loses activity best example egg after boiling loses its activity loses or not loses activity actual that egg can changes to small egg can changes to small chick no yes sir no can changes to small chick boiled egg also can changes nothing but loses its activity loses or not so after boiling what happened loses its activity so proteins on heating or excess cooling or any acid base added or any impurity added what happens this proteins loses their activity highly sensitive they loses their activity why they call activity that process name is denaturation denaturation means proteins on heating or by addition of acid or base they loses their activity they loses their activity why they loses their activity means breaking of structures takes place breaking of which structures quaternary tertiary secondary but no change in primary structure this is very important one no change in primary structure during denaturation remaining structures breaking takes place that's why loses their biological activity that's it that is the denaturation of a proteins if proteins loses their activity that is called denaturation of proteins what happens here breaking of secondary tertiary quaternary structure takes place but no change in primary structure nothing but amino acid bonding not breaking that is the covalent bond that is the peptide bond okay that breaking not takes place remaining hydrogen bond disulfide links uh, this breaking takes place uh, that is about denaturation of protein sir now what are the applications of protein that's it that is the denaturation what happens means breaking of bonds lose acids activity applications of proteins proteins are acts as transport agents nothing but acts as transport agents means transport agents means transport agents only yes or no so acts as transport agents means carries uh, materials from one place to another place best one anyhow biology thoroughly we don't know that's why hemoglobin many transport agents may be there hemoglobin this is well known because from small age we are nothing but from 7th standard like that we are learning uh, no 8th or 9th uh, okay hemoglobin hemoglobin carries uh, oxygen carbon dioxide from body parts to somewhere and carbon monoxide also okay carbon monoxide also if in uh, pollution there uh, carbon monoxide is present it combines with that carbon monoxide also changes to carboxy hemoglobin that is the dangerous uh, what is the ppm anyhow you, you given hint to you know carbon monoxide also what is the uh, tolerable threshold limit value if that crossed uh, it leads to death also even 0.1 ppm carbon monoxide chemistry every environmental chemistry past is past okay hemoglobin 9 ppm or 10 ppm hmm hemoglobin 9 ppm chapter deleted that not finalized okay anyhow we learn no learn or not hmm hemoglobin chapter deleted that's why from your mind also deleted immediate so this complete in your mind so hemoglobin anyhow hemoglobin transports uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide so this hemoglobin acts as a transport agent and the access structural materials 
Structural material means they give us one structure or protection. Keratin, structural material. Collagen also, structural material. So, structural proteins. So, structural protein means protects the organs and gives one structure to that. That is the structural protein. Example for this keratin we can use. Keratin. And immunoglobulin G. What is this? Antibodies. So, proteins can access antibodies and antigen also protein only. Yes or no? Antigen protein antibodies. What are these antibodies? Antibodies means fight with the antigen. What is that antigen? Fight with antibody. Foreign pro material enters into, the, into our body that causes some diseases. So, to fight with the diseases our body releases antibodies. So, antibodies example for this immunoglobulin G in the different different varieties there I think. So, immunoglobulin G is example for antibodies. Anyhow proteins are antibodies. Okay. They access transport agents, structural materials, antibodies and they access hormones. Hormones also proteins. These are released from from ductless glands. Other type of glands what? These are released from ductless glands or not? Uh, these are, what is the importance of hormones? Biological messengers. Yes sir, no. Uh, bi metabolism. Uh, biological messengers uh, and released from ductless glands. The students giving answer. So, released from ductless glands uh, involving a the access of biological messengers. So, all these hormones also proteins only. So, anyhow in our syllabus complete what the different types of hormones not there. In trust there you can practice uh, steroid hormones, uh, non-steroid hormones, uh, nothing but uh, sexual hormones, uh, adrenal cortex hormones uh, and amine hormones, uh, nothing but these hormones with amino acids. Uh, thyroid hormones like this, there are no different types of hormones. Uh, okay. So, all this you can practice uh, if interest there. Anyhow, hormones are uh, proteins. Uh, enzymes also globular proteins, uh, enzymes also proteins. Uh, what are these enzymes? Uh, access a uh, catalyst in biochemical reactions. Uh, so, they are catalyst in biochemical reactions, they are highly sensitive. Anyhow, already we learned this one, where chemistry, surface, chem inorganic chemistry, surface chemistry, catalyst, uh, there already we learned, no? Uh, enzymes are biochemical, uh, uh, catalyst in biochemical reactions, they are highly sensitive, they act at uh, optimum temperature, 310 degree Kelvin temperature, not degree centigrade, uh, 310 Kelvin uh, and optimum pH, uh, body pH, the 6 to 8 pH, at that condition only it is uh, active and this is a highly specific in nature, nothing but one enzyme can catalyst one type of reaction. So, many examples already we learnt, for conversion of starch to glucose amylase. To convert sugar, sucrose to glucose and fructose, here invertase, invertase no. To convert lipids to fatty acids, lipids to fatty acids and uh, glycoglycerol, lipase, lipids to lipase, urea to ammonia and carbon dioxide, urease, uh, glucose and fructose to ethyl alcohol. Zymase, already we discussed in our body, zymase is not there, thank God, otherwise complete glucose changes to ethyl alcohol only, yes sir, no. So, glucose and fructose changes to ethyl alcohol in the presence of zymase. Maltose to glucose, maltase, maltose to glucose, maltase, lactose to glucose and galactose, lactase, proteins to, very good, proteins to, proteins to peptides in stomach, digestion of proteins in stomach, pepsin. In intestine, trypsin, pepsin and trypsin converts proteins to polypeptides and alpha amino acids. It is a digestion in all, complete in all these enzymes. Enzymes acts as a catalyst. All these enzymes are proteins. So, what are the applications of proteins? Proteins can access transport agents. They can access structural materials, antibodies, hormones, enzymes. These are applications of proteins. Okay. And what is that coenzyme, epoenzyme? Coenzyme and epoenzyme. Cofactor. In this enzyme also protein part and non protein part is present. That non protein part is called coenzyme. If it is metal, that is called cofactor. This is complete in biology you learn. Yes or no? So, anyhow, enzyme two parts are present protein part and non protein part. Okay.
So that non-protein part, if it is metal, that is called a cofactor. Anyhow, this is about applications of proteins. So proteins, what are alpha amino acids? What are the structures? How they bonded? What is the classification of proteins? Applications of proteins. And the remaining part is for advanced students. How to identify N terminal, C terminal, and structure synthesis, so Sanger's reaction like this, some reactions are there. Preparation of alpha amino acids, identification test, and how to identify the proteins, so by urate test, their molish test, some test given, no? Practiced or not? A molish test and the Selvinov's test, like that here, by urate test, ninhydrin test, some tests also there. These tests for advanced students. So, next class, nothing but tomorrow or after finishing full chapter. Anyhow, next concept is the nucleic acids and uh, nucleic acids and vitamins uh, deleted or not uh, deleted like that information came but uh, not finalized. No, that's why I'll discuss this. Uh, okay, tomorrow I will discuss uh, nucleic acids and vitamins. Okay, thank you.